Hello, my name is Jeroen Krabé. I'm an actor, director, but maybe above all a painter. And I'm going to take you on a personal journey through the Rijksmuseum. I came here a lot as a small boy together with my father, who was also a painter, and it brought me here to look at the great painters, at the Rembrandts and the Vermeers. Later in my childhood I visited the museum on school trips, and as a parent I came here with my own children, and now I come here with my grandchildren. So over the years I've acquired a number of favorites. This new gallery we're now standing in, it's all been changed since the refurbishment, is actually part of the Rijksmuseum <laughs> that I used to walk through quite quickly, as nothing really seemed to interest me here. Well, I liked the ship and my grandchildren loved the cannon, but once I'd been around this gallery with the curator, I understood what this is all about, actually. It's quite interesting, after all, and I'd like to share this with you. Well, this gallery is making a statement. It's telling us that during the 17th century, the Dutch Republic was being run by its citizens, something unheard of in the neighboring countries, where power still lay in the hands of kings and emperors. But here in the Netherlands, the citizens were in charge. And we can see some of them in this huge picture by Bartholomeus van der Helst, who was commissioned to paint it by the 25 militiamen it represents. The work was actually painted to celebrate the Peace of Münster, which was signed on the 15th of May 1648. The 80 years war with Spain was finally over, and the Dutch independence, the union of the seven northern provinces, had now become a fact. 80 years of fighting had come to an end. And that's what these militiamen are celebrating. Militiamen were the policemen of that time. This is quite a lively picture of a militia company. Other group portraits show them, you know, standing tidily side by side. But Bartholomeus van der Haals decided to paint this militiaman having a meal, a banquet, in fact. We can hear the general hum of activity, a few raised voices. We see men in all sorts of poses, doing different things. That man in the middle, for instance, at the back by the open window. He's pouring wine into a glass. The man in front of him is leaning forward to ask a slice of something. And another figure is just taking off his hat. In fact, everyone in the picture is doing something different. One part of the painting I like is the captain. Captain Witsen was his name. The man to the right with the magnificent silver drinking horn. The one shaking hands with his lieutenant. If you look closely at his breastplate, you'll see three militiamen reflected in it. Now that's a clever bit of painting. And there's the same thing with the man sitting on the left. You see, the one with the red knees, cutting a piece of meat, of whatever it is, leg of pork. In his breastplate, we can see the light that must have been coming from a window behind the artist. And what is so wonderful about this painting is all the detail that makes you feel part of the scene, that makes you feel you could almost reach out and touch any object in it. Like the napkin, for instance, across the knee of the man with the red stockings. If you have a closer look, you'll even see the patterns woven into the napkin. And what's always fascinated me, <laughs> the yellow stockings worn by the elderly man in black. You can see the patterns in these two, and the fact that they've been worn quite a lot. The really interesting thing about this period is that the end of the war allowed us Dutch to make a great deal of money. So everything was growing and booming. The Dutch East India Company, the VOC, was founded. We'd already started to trade with the Far East, and the company was set up to make sure that merchants didn't compete and destroy each other's businesses, but joined forces instead. And we sailed the seven seas to get rich. After all, the 17th century is the period in which the Netherlands made the most money. Money that was spent on clothes and on finery, but it was also spent on painters, as we shall see in a little while.